We all know that different people like to operate at different times of the day. Some people like to get up early and they do their best work in the morning. Sometimes people to stay up late and do their best work at night. I myself like to sleep in on the weekends, but do all my work during the weekdays. But why the difference? Why are some people early risers and some people night owls? Is it just because people who like to sleep in are lazy, as my mother would suggest? Well, it turns out that this difference might actually be genetic. Research published in Frontiers in Neurology studied fruit flies who have a similar body clock to humans and found a series of up to 40 genes that regulate sleep patterns. They could actually breed a late riser by breeding two pairs of flies that got up late. This research is interesting because up until now we've understood that sleep is important and we've understood that some people have different sleep preferences but we've never really understood why and it turns out the difference might actually be on a molecular level. Now if sleep preferences are genetic that means that the 9 to 5 work week is hugely discriminatory. Not everyone's genetics factor to a 9 to 5 work day and sleep pattern. Forcing every worker to show up at 9am is as pointless as trying to force every worker to wear a size 9 shoe. I mean, sure it's going to fit a lot of people, but it's also going to make a lot of people really uncomfortable. Starting everyone at 9am does have a lot of benefits, but it also reduces business efficiency and costs employers a lot of money. Science shows that good sleep is as important to our health as diet or exercise. People who don't get enough sleep find it harder to pay attention, have trouble problem solving and also find it harder to deal with stress. People who don't get enough sleep are at a greater risk of behavioral and emotional problems like depression, are more likely to abuse tobacco, alcohol and other drugs and have a lower overall performance on everything from athletics to academics. If sleep preference is based on genetics then forcing everyone into a 9 to 5 workday is pretty much just abuse. Companies should be looking at this research and realizing that they can make more money just by giving their employees a little bit more flexibility. Hi everyone, I'm Jade Lovell, resident science nerd on the Young Turks Network. You're watching SciQ and we know you don't want to miss an episode, so please click the subscribe button down below.